just starting to stream. I'm going to very quickly. <coughs> Pop up my chat so I can say hi to Monkey Man. <laughs> what makes you think he's watching? <laughs> <laughs> well, the oh boy, oh no, oh boy, what the fuck is this nonsense? All right. Uh, oh boy, oh no, oh. Hopefully, no one heard that. All right. What do you just do? Accidentally, some music was playing. Sure. Perfect, perfect. Okay, hey guys, this is distinct. I'm joined by the one and only Serenade, and we're continuing with the EPP Bore Cup. This time we're it's playing. Called it's, it's it's called Bore Cup. No, it's not called. The it's Bork called Bore Cup. It's official. I just announced it. Your yeah, opinion doesn't matter. Fin final no takesies. No takes no, no backseat stakesies, whatever the expression is. There you go. Perfect. I never agreed to it. You did agree to it. You implicitly agreed to it by not protesting in time. There you go. Lies. Alright, so the very first Bore Cup, which is a 1v1 tournament in our specific mod game. and setup map setup. It's group B with Tulipan versus Aussie this time. Still neither of them have played before in their group. So they're both zero zero. <laughs> yeah. uh, the top two of every there's eight groups of three. Top two of every group advances to then a regular tournament bracket. Tulipan is on Berlin. Aussie is on Amsterdam. And as always, both countries are completely equal. In case you don't know the setup, you need to but change the title. It's not called the Pork Cup. It is called the Pork Cup, and everyone knows the setup by now. So I'm not gonna discuss that too much. What would you like to call it then, certainly? Please it's make it. It's called a the One v One Tournament. The One v One Tournament. No, yeah, I think chat should vote on what it should be called. This is what sure. I think. Well, well, that that's fine with me. And we should also have a Bortech Industries bot. No. Yes. Uh, Sabaka, are you on the stream? Anyway. I'm the type right now. What, Sabaka is on the stream? No, I'm asking him. Uh, I don't think anyone's on the stream. Or maybe, I don't know. I mean, you have four viewers, so... Oh, wow, I have four viewers. Good stuff. It's five minutes, Sabaka. It's Monkey Man, obviously. Anywho, let's, uh... Serenade with professional countdown, that's good stuff. Let's watch a little bit at their countries. Both should be f fairly decent players. Uh, I say that as Tulipan has no advisors so far. He probably needs to shuffle them to get the... Uh, okay, he does have the estates, he does have the... He's doing the nobility. We'll see when he uses the... <laughs> we'll see when he uses the estate interactions as someone... Uh, Serenade, by the way, someone... Or Sebaka mentioned this, and I think it's important while you were yes, playing. Yes, I know. To, to roll immediately, I watched the recording. Yeah. Alright, good stuff. Good stuff. But do you understand why, sir? No shit, like, what? I watched the entire recording. <laughs> look, look here. I'm, you I'm seriously watched the entire recording? Wow. Yes, what a, I'm a scientist. I what do science. a scientist, such nonsense. You do chemistry, let's not, let's not uh, pretend that's actually hard science. Oh, you think chemistry is easy? You're welcome to intern in my lab. <laughs> I am? Yeah. Yeah, you, you would put in a good word for me? No. Well, how am I supposed to get there then? Because I, I wouldn't mind, like, you know, just swapping really? from time to time, just spending like two weeks here, two weeks there, just trying out jobs. Like, you, you would do no shit. I actually, lab. like, seriously proposed to. Uh, Oh, actually, I can't talk about these face on stream. Yes, you're not supposed to talk about <laughs> your work stuff. Since, like, your work is probably actually confidential. Yeah, but here was not about strictly my work, but it, it's something else that is also confidential. Unlucky. Unlucky. But, but Unlucky. Yeah, okay, well, we're going in 30 seconds. Alright, let's, uh, okay. Everything seems fine on the setup. Decent advisors. There's discipline on Aussie, though. 
But I think that's just because he yeah he fired everything, so he simply did not have a, a manpower one available. And that is very unfortunate. But still, you should recruit before. It simply means that you can't recruit mercs if you don't have a manpower advisor at the start, because you still need to get your military points and recruit your... Okay, he's not used the estate interaction for it. He started instantly recruiting mercs. Yeah. I guess he already fired his... Uh, he recruited while he had the force limit advisor and then fired them. He, like, it... It's not 100% optimal because you get the tick here. We'll see it instantly. First tick, 79.8 army tradition. You're no longer in the bracket. But of course, it means that you have to spend one month later on uh, to get the force limit one. So you will have two months of no um, manpower advisor at some point. But that's worth... What's, what's the significance of the bracket? It's just 50% chance of plus one pip, right? The bracket itself gives 50% chance of plus one pip. No. No, I'll have to revisit exactly what it gives, but it's um, it's not that it's less, but still, it's still massive. Basically, it's still better than two months. No, 20%, of, sorry, it's twenty percent chance for plus one. Yeah, that's what it should be, but I I no, I, I don't no, no. I don't want to confirm or or deny anything because it's a, like somewhat complicated. And I didn't check it out. I just know that. Not having the bracket is definitely a problem. You're gonna wait. No, it is straight up one more pip, right? If I'm reading the formula correctly, it is straight up one more pip. Well, it is like whatever your chance is plus, you know, plus the percentage that you have. So there's already like just a little percentage cons in of itself. No, and, but the thing, okay, so and then the you get pool. plus one divided by by. Uh, no, no, okay, so according to the wiki, the pool is random 1 to 6 plus floor, effective tradition divided by 20. So if your tradition bumps from 79.9 to 80, that's just straight up one more pip. Yeah, well, I, I, else well, well, I, well I'll, I'll check, I'll check after, 80. but I'm not going to confirm or deny on stream. <laughs> but yeah, from... I, I should know all this because, you know, I'm supposed to know everything about the game, but... Sure, sure. I'd rather not make a fool out of myself in this given situation. Okay, let's check actually important things like how many cans they have, if they have. Yes, they have the icon. Tulipan still not increased his advisors. So that's a big problem for him. Meanwhile, everything perfect for Aussie from the looks of it. Yes. Yes. Yeah, Ozzy has the setup. Ozzy did really everything well. perfect, except that he still has a 511 manpower not recruited. Yeah, I think, I think so Ozzy he actually needs to recruit fairly well. fast, else he's going to have a little bit of. Or he, he might you know, not reach a manpower if he doesn't recruit before it, it reaches maximum. Alright, let's see how many cannons we're going to get. Two so far cannon stacks for Tulipan. He's making four. And on the other side, we still have no can of stacks at all. Well, so he's, we'll, well, he's probably recruiting. You have to check what he's recruiting. Yeah, no, I see that he's not recruiting. No, you have to look. look. Okay, your stream has a delay. You have to wait for you to check out Tulipan's side. Oh, wait. No, you mean. Okay, Tulipan has four. Ozzy has zero. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Okay, okay. Sure. Anywho, where did they put their. Force is always interesting. All right, Tulipan with the terrorist tactics. What? He has force everywhere? No. <laughs> no. <laughs> That's terrorist. No, my has like he has force close to each other on the first. Uh, on I mean, the that's first. Not, that's not really terrorism. Well, I mean, the, the only reason you want to do this is because you're trying to trap an army or something. And there's no one did march it. Like that's definitely a mistake. Lonenberg did march it, just too good to be ignored. But okay, I, I mean there can be arguments for like he if someone does manage to take one fort, it's more difficult to advance. So you lose less territory overall. I think that's like one of the reasons why uh, you could consider a fort in like Penson maybe or Fortlands because those are they're instantly next, but they 
they will protect a lot of your lands if you do fall behind. Meanwhile, in Aussie's territory, forts yeah, look like the, the basic forts one can expect. Except one in Baden, it's a bit awkward, but whatever, yeah. I guess. I don't really see the point of Baden. Yeah, it's you grasslands and it's it doesn't really protect that much. Might as well put it in Breskau, like just behind, or in Lofringen or something. But still, okay. But I mean, overall, there's there's no major weaknesses, I guess. He's also gonna bait a little with Trier, but I don't suppose um I don't suppose uh Tulipa is gonna walk to Trier. Why would why would he bait with Trier? Because Tulipa can actually walk to Trier. Yeah. But there's no reason like if he goes into Trier, he's gonna put his uh reinforcements at risk. Okay. But yeah, I I, that's, that's not really the bait. It's just Trier is a fine province to put your your fort in, like. Well, I guess. It's and I don't think anyone is gonna ever to try to siege Trier first. Like that's. No. It's, completely it's irrelevant. Idea. Do you think a fort should be put in Groningen because of East yeah. Frisia being the war goal always for Berlin? Possibly because you never need you never need forts like you're never short of forts i feel like you can cover the entire front of six forts so yeah. you always have forts to spare so basically the, the baden times... forts could just be in, in honingen and you still keep yeah. the overstick forts yeah the only problem I like that is yeah. you don't want forts in places that help your opponent to move so for example you probably don't want forts in friesland or Meppen for whatever reason yeah yeah <laughs> can you make the tie break playing any on eu host probably not probably not no, but I mean, it could be, you know. I think what we want to do is have like a, a scoring system of different oh my criteria. God, one. What the fuck? That could be relevant. Uh, good stuff. Best host. Nope. Best host 2018. No professional countdown and then this. There was no There was no pop up that told me. Oh, was geez. Bad. I don't have my like internet cable in. <laughs> Doing this on Wi Fi, not a smart idea. Savaka playing PUBG while watching the stream. Truly a boss. Truly a boss, yeah. Yeah, he's gonna wreck us in this tournament, I feel, huh? Alright, let's go back to Aussie if he's starting to build cannons. And he is four cannon stacks, everyone adopting the four cannon meta. Good, good. That's how we want to see things. Well, personally, I felt I felt like my fourth cannon stack was completely useless. Like, well, that's because you because... you you basically walked all over, uh, Peter. But it might be different than if you're challenged more. I mean, it's just more like I have four because he has four. He walked all if over. If he has three, I would have done fine with three. But it might be different. Than I only need a four because he has four. More. So like mm -hmm. if he built three, I would definitely I would probably have just done three because I don't need four. So what you're actually gonna build three now from now on? You'll see, you'll see. Okay, so he's yeah, gonna maybe. do the super next level thing. He's gonna make one cannon stack, and that's it. And make sure that he wins that very first battle <laughs> and, and never get like <laughs> flanked or something. Just win defensively. But we were talking about that. That's actually a serious strat. Like in, in a. In a best of three, you could you try funky least, things. You need at least two. You need at least two. You need at I least think. two. I agree. One is just unsustainable with this many troops. But you, Where's my infiltrate? There, there could definitely be interesting things. I think like in oh, the best of three, we're, we're 100% yes. going to try funky things out. What did you think about... Uh, you You followed the discussion with Milif about making a, a specific 1v1 map? Specifically uh, for the tournament? Yeah, I also yeah. saw the aliens. I thought the aliens were much more interesting, though. Well, I mean, the aliens would actually be hard to to mod and stuff. But the one v one, like, because the only reason I I I, I didn't do a one v one map in the or a map for multiplayer in the past is because it's like too annoying to code in terms of all the events, the countries, and so on. Yeah, you gotta reassign mean... them to provinces and the tag. It's a nightmare. Modding I mean, nightmare, but if you're just doing the one v one, you only need two countries. You need no events, no decision. You need nothing, so you can actually make a small map, and we could actually then have a relevant 
eco game and and naval game as well. Possibly. But then the, the, the it begs the question: Is that actually desirable? Especially with the naval combat, like the naval game is useful because with boats you can do so much stuff. Like creative use of boats is an integral part of uh, warfare. of land warfare. Yeah, yeah, of land yeah. warfare. Creative usage of boats, not not just building heavies and doing random garbage with them. Yeah, that's true. But it, like, it's interesting because it is that yes. with boats you can skip forts along the coast. And this tactic is not employed frequently, but in some cases, it can really catch up on off guard, and it can be a breakthrough. Like it can allow breakthroughs in otherwise stalemate-ish positions. Yeah, especially with how it interacts with the forts. Yeah, of like control. you just walk right through the forts, so it's so. pretty good. And your opponent can't even trap you as long as you're careful not to trap yourself. Yeah. Yeah, it is. Um, so that's that's like probably the main argument for making a data and, and having yeah. it lag a little bit less for people with computers that are not outstanding or if you're like in the US and you're being hosted by a your trash. I mean that's that's just difficult, right? Latency across the sea is a big deal. And I don't think it's something that can immediately be, be solved just by making the map smaller. I'll send you to turn on the lights because it's no longer summer, sad times in England. I'll see with a supporter. Max is saying that he's got this. Um, or from the looks of the setup, um, still no good advisor to live, but what is he doing? He has one one one. Yikes, yikes. Anyway, that actually puts him quite a bit behind. Like, we're talking about trying to greed oh, yeah, policies okay. and things like this to get that little bit of extra military points. Mm. Are they developing level it all? They are developing a little bit, but... They're both developing, yeah. Mm. They're both developing. Okay, that's nice. I, I hope none of them are developing mill. Oh. Did I just see Tulipan develop mill? What the fuck? No, he's not right. Okay, oh, he's developing oh, Eminent Dip. That's please, good. no. Please, no. We can check... But, uh, yeah, yeah, I know. But maybe has, it, like, it could be like a misclick or something, I guess it's possible. No, I don't think he developed mill. It's, but we can but check I mean, in the... Rampart memo, right? 378 yeah. for him. And 37... Eight for Aussie, so there was no military points developed. He also has right now stacks of sixty mercs, so he might make those kinds of vanguards. If only sixty, I think that's a mistake. It's definitely not enough. So yeah, about the discussion about number of mercs, I'm kind of agreeing with uh, Sabaka's line of thought that forty-one is the ideal because you can clearly see that seventy-five was retarded. But the problem, the reason why I um, hmm. hate. 41 is because I don't like seeing stacks with like not like you know I like my stacks to be nicely numbered so usually my vanguards are 90 but I was feeling lazy so I tried to cheat a bit with uh, 75 but that's useless you might like if you want to cheat you should just make it 80 yeah so so either 80 or uh, either 80 or like 82, 80 plus do 80 yeah. plus it has yeah. to be 80 plus if you're like, there are multiple 80. reasons is not getting stack wiped having enough sp- room to reinforce especially yeah. if it's a secondary battle or a third battle the, the when it gets hard here, to reinforce yeah the main and thing then here, assaults like there's so much going on you need to have yeah. a bit of resource the main reason why 60 like 50 60 or 70 is passable is that sometimes you only want it to not get wiped like you expect to always reinforce before the first line breaks and the extra infantry only purpose is to not get stack wiped in those cases, 60 that on the front is passable, but you have to always remember to reinforce. Mm, at, but at I just disagree, sense. because there's so many cases where you need so much more, because you can't just... there's Your cannon stacks have much more like assignments than just taking one battle. You can't expect yes. just take one battle and be done with it. Like Sometimes yes. that happens. So, so sometimes you really want a big vanguard, but sometimes... like. Like, let's say you're on defense and you're only taking care of your forts. The 90k is always always passable as a vanguard. But your commandos always must be big because you can't always guarantee to reinforce your commandos effectively. So it really depends on the purposes. Like Likewise, a sentinel can always be 90 because as long as you don't take aggressive actions with a sentinel, those are always ready to be reinforced by infantry. Well, yes and no, because sometimes the sentinels... Ends up acting as a commando. Exactly. And so sometimes the sentinels it. ends up assaulting. Like so yes, if you if you need to assault with your sentinel that only has fifty. Commando. 
you have to put more on it. You need so much more on it. You can't always, you know, have the the luxury to be able to react. The war's gonna start soon. Right. So Tulip Pun did uh, did drill. He actually got to twelve percent drilling. So that's that's not completely irrelevant. One percent garbage generals. Wow. Aussie has a no. Six, are you are you kidding me? As a six six, what are you talking yeah, but about? His rest are terrible. Like he has four five, four five, and five four. Yeah, but that's fine. So he has a clear plan, she which is take one battle, battle yeah. and you're winning the battle because you have a six six. Yeah. So Tulipan's best. Let's is see five what fives. he has a six three. Six guess, three and a five six. Yeah. Okay. Five six is problem. well actually five maneuvers so depending on the kind of engagement yeah um and we can see it's a it's a oh, ruler. This guy is five five six so the five five six can be very useful like this guy is definitely going on a commando for whatever purposes six three five also pretty good for I guess his generals are not not bad they're not bad six three five five six five six that's completely passable even the five five so he actually has four good generals yeah whereas Ozzy has one god one, general one and god general and three god other pretty bad so his game plan is very clear take a single fight and or force your opponent to take a defensive fight maybe yeah. you can win it but you really don't want to take that you want to retreat out of that if that happens and just focus so, on this one so big Tulipan fight. is only just moving it doesn't look like he'll be ready for the yeah. war deck maybe Trying. he'll decline anyway but he won't he definitely will not be able to sit on the war goal since he's only just moving Right, so all policies and discipline right now for our man Aussie. Tulipan, or two Tulipan only with the moral. I like yeah, that. Yeah, he so, wants. So I guess he's gonna do what I was doing yesterday. He's gonna try to farm mill points. <laughs> he he, he only farm. has plus three military advisor. <laughs> why? Yeah. Why? He <laughs> he's points? trying to be greedy, but he's failing spectacularly. Wait, why does he have a serenade? What the fuck? Wait, he has five cannon stacks. Five. Telephone is five. No, oh, he wait, doesn't no, need. No, no, no. Infantry, infantry, it's, infantry. it's just a, a mercenary stack, yeah. No, 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 I see that infantry. That was definitely manpower because he was drilling it with the serenade. His, he's force marching, but they're not. Okay, okay, okay. The so war is being deck. declared. I did another little awesome. check. Okay. We'll see declare. It's a big advantage for him. Yeah. Uh, Tulpa needs to remember to insult, whereas Ozzy did every. Okay, Ozzy did everything perfect. So we're so, just gonna see whether Tulipan is farming mill points correctly, because he does have uh, only two policies, only the moral policies to allow force marching. Uh, yet he did not let his moral recover on Hoya oh yeah, for some reason. Okay, they Regardless. both have they both have the same amount of men, yeah, but Ozzy is hundred military points ahead. Yeah, because of the level one and level three. Yeah, like. So, so Ozzy is definitely looking to attack now because he has a six six general. He sees his opponent has two policies. He knows his opponent trying to farm mill points. Well, so he you doesn't see the ball. Battle. Oh yeah, you, you can, can check, check that. You can check that, right? So he sees the opponent has two policies, and you you know your opponent's farming mill points, so you have to engage him, like at least force him to take his policy. There okay, we there he goes. Battle in Hessen. He only yeah, takes one. He moves uh, to Westfalen. Okay, here you are. Where's his reinforcements? They're nowhere. They're not moving. Okay, but he's he's, he's starting to window them. I think it, it'll be somewhat alright. Which yeah, general they, is it for Tulip? Okay, but he needs his policies right now. And the advisor right yeah. now. It's the worst. It's the absolutely worst general for Tulipan, probably. Let's see. I don't think second, he. Second battle. Oh no, he takes a second you fight. Do, that one is that, terrible. Yeah. Across river, too. But Tulipan so has crossing. not actually enacted the, the other policies. He's exactly. Just... So Tulipan still missing policies. He doesn't seem to be missing his advisor. So he has the right advisor, it seems. But yeah, he's missing policies. But he has a good battle down here, so if he reinforces correctly. But I, I don't know, I don't well, see winning it's, without it's, No, he has one good battle, and one equally bad battle on the other side, because of the bad general being facing the best general of Aussie. So okay. I think it's somewhat equal. If they both manage to just no, reinforce, no, no, I'm not... Oh, no, 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 no because no, no policy. is much better. Like, this battle in Wurzburg is much better. He's plus one fire, and his opponent has a river crossing. So he okay, he has policies now, so now battle should swing a little. Like the battle in Wurzburg is much mm. worse than how good the battle in Hesse Aussie is. hundred percent winning the battle bottom. He should get like he should move those mage troops because those are gonna get wives. Okay, what? he's no, just sending Philippa them in. Can't go to mines. What? Of course he can go to mains. No, he can't. Wurzburg goes to mains, but Oh yeah, yeah, about? but Wurzburg is still fighting. Yeah, yeah, but that's he chose to reinforce. I would not have reinforced that more. I thought he was gonna like retreat. Uh, yeah, you should definitely focus on Hessen. 
but here Tulipan's also running out of infantry soon. Yeah, so yeah, Tulipan is definitely going to try to win in Wurzburg and use those Wurzburg to feed into Hesse. Okay. But we'll see how they commit with these uh, other cannon stacks. But yeah. Is really that stack going to gonna even make it on time? I think it is, Seven. Barely going to make it in Hessen, right? Barely. Yeah. Barely going to make it in Wurzburg. Guys. Okay, I he actually went... Worst... It's... I don't think they're going to go to Wurzburg in time. Very difficult to judge. No, I think they're going to run. It's breaking. Yeah, it's oh. breaking already. Okay, these guys are dead. Okay, that's an utter can disaster. Go, but can Telephone go to Hessen? Telephone might lose at Hessen. Wait, no, Telephone is winning at Hessen without these reinforcements, it seems. Okay, very close. Cannons he needs to send cannons. the cannons, but yeah, the cannons are... Okay, Tulipan okay. lost already, so that's unlucky. But he's but he's winning in Paderborn, okay. So let's... So, hmm, this engagement. So Tulipan overall lost war score because Heston was the big battle. But yeah, it really goes to show, once you get attacked, you have to immediately turn on your policies because that was actually, like, receiving in Wurzburg was excellent. If he had all his policies from the get-go, he would have won both those battles, I feel like. Yeah, he, um... <clears throat> both battles oh, that he fifty k infantry. What the fuck? Like wait, both wait, battles okay. that he was defensive on were really really good. So this this Aussie split is really bad. You don't want to split your infantry in front of your enemy. <laughs> like if Tulipan is watching, these are all dead. Yeah, but he's not paying attention. Taking too long to yeah. He's reorganizing, but what you should really do with before reorganizing is to, you know, like recruit. Is he recruiting? Because I see Aussie recruiting. Yeah, don't think... definitely no. He, yeah, yeah. So Tulipan he still has not recruited. recruited. Yeah, Aussie's mercs are here already. Tulipan still hasn't recruited. So it's very unfortunate because he does have a ca uh, cannon stack available. He could oh, have okay. wiped so okay, many so troops. Aussie is coming here into Thuringen. Does Tulipan notice? He's not noticing. So this cannon stack looks dead to me. Yep. Yep. I mean, they could <laughs> be that bug that sometimes happens. I mean, he might be able to run, but he's definitely losing some cannons. 15k cannons dead yeah, already. Yeah, there's infantry on the back line. Like, you're you're never with it. He should not commit more. Might still wipe though. Okay, not not a wipe, but he has to run now. Because he only has 18 cannons. Yeah, okay. He's gonna run maybe. Okay, he took that other fight. Heston, that's though. that's a good, good catch. catch yeah. This guy can pick up the remains behind if he wants to. But not but no more fighting in theory. Okay, but this No, is no, no, this is good going this like this. Good, yeah. Exactly. This but he need he needs to be careful. Like he needs to really reinforce that quickly. He doesn't have enough uh, front line. But he sends everything in, so I guess that's okay. Two vanguards, but you definitely don't want to play it like that. Okay, you know, Aussie yeah, is not in position. Aussie so is not reinforcing. Yeah, he's exactly just going to so. retreat, but that, that's okay. Yeah, th I guess, but he's not playing. Yeah, he's just going to run. Yeah, that's fine yeah. as well. He did a lot. Like, he got wiped Aussie, so you could say that was a mistake. But I think he lost less manpower in that wipe than uh, Tulipan did with his cannons on I the front. Too, yeah. Tulipan so, lost 22k cannons, right? So um, that's straight up 22k cannons dead, and Aussie probably lost max 20 Okay, Tulipan has 700, like 650 right now, but it's not really recruited. Let's oh, see. yeah, I need to disable the ledger. <laughs> Right, I mean, no one's that, that, that's a property of the save, isn't it? I need to. Yeah, uh, they're actually okay. It seems to be somewhat similar in men. Like they dropped a lot. This is one of the rarest times where we we saw everything committed one versus the other in a uh, in one of the early battles. No, so they both dropped like... to seven hundred men. But also he does have a military points advantage, so he can recruit already and push again with his six six advantage. So long he has that. Also, what's up with Tulipan's artillery? He's missing so many. He doesn't have three stacks. Oh, he made weird consolidates. No, but even then, he has less than 120 cannons. 54 here in the stack. What the fuck? Okay, so he has four. Yes, because the, the, the vanguards were still fighting. So they or the cannons actually took casualties. So they didn't retreat before the cannons took casualties. And then they... Just did consolidations on. You know, but this fifty-four. Okay, sure. That that's one of the I two can stacks though, that he consolidated. General, like him consolidating two of the can stacks that took battle is fine. Now he's he's uh, oh, setting wow, that okay. up. So Ozzy rolls some new general six five here. So now Ozzy has a six five and a six four. So now he has general advantage. I mean, he has six five and a six six. So he has general advantage in not one but two battles now. But we'll yeah. see. I, yeah. I still think it's too dangerous to be aggressive, overly aggressive, even with this advantage. Mm. As we saw just now, that was super close when Tulipan has no policies. No, no, like no, 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 no. That was not because he was aggressive. That was because he took 
two different battles. If he had just fought in Hesse, it's 100% one. 100% uh, one. Disagree. Like, it's it's more like 60% winning if Tulupan turns on his policies immediately. Even then, I would hesitate to say 60% because Tulupan can always put in a better general. Yeah, but he didn't. And you know, I, I would say, with, like, considering he didn't put the better general and it took him so long to take the policies. Yeah. Probably winning from single battle, yeah. And then uh, you, you probably win so hard that you can send your commandos to assault at least furring in. Unlikely and... to win hard, I would say. No, no, no. I don't think it would be a huge advantage. You fairly underestimate the uh, difference in, in the fire damage. Like, the fire damage a lot more significant than the I mean, hidden you moral saw, you saw bonus. In, you saw in the Hessen battle, uh, even without the Wurzburg battle, just from the Hessen battle, it ended up being super close. It was down to cannons versus cannons. That's because Ozzy had to send way more men into Wurzburg so did Tulipan, than, than Tulipan really did. No, no, no. The, the, there was a massive difference in the amount of troops fielded in that battle. But yeah, and I think also at some point the Hesse troops, the, the backline of Ozzy actually fell partly. But he no, still managed not, to win not the battle. Before it was cannons versus cannons. <clears throat> so he got it down to cannons versus cannons and he won the cannons versus cannons phase. Okay. I thought Tulipan was gonna win the cannons versus cannons, but not not true. Alright, Tulipan is moving. Let's he's at a manpower or total men deficit right now. He has seven hundred eighty with his manpower he has a reserves. Lot less men because there's, he doesn't have the second Yeah. Whereas there's only uh, there's nine hundred total here for Ozzy, so he could push despite a leader disadvantage. A leader he's also, disadvantage. He's also three. He's also three kind of stacks now. Well, it's the stacks. opposite. It's Ozzy that has both the leader advantage and the member advantage, so oh, he can definitely push. Vanessa, that's very dangerous. Yeah, exactly. Uh, okay, six six. Same day, so Tulipa is a defender, but where are the reinforcements? They're not. They're nowhere. Minus close. one though. Yes. But also takes that other fight. Five four versus. Or for like those fights are, are where are the reinforcements? There are no reinforcements for Tulipan. Mm. But but Ozzy correctly recognizes that he has a fourth cannon stack, which Tulipan is really lacking. So it's just a matter of um Tulipan decides to run from everything. Yeah. Okay. Oh well, that yeah, makes so, sense. He has to run. Yeah, yeah. So so that's that's what you get for moving. Okay, forward. this is where it matters. Let's see what Ozzy does now. He he beat all three cannon stacks back. There are no can stacks available to defend it. We can 100% assault Furingen at least. He should do this instantly, taking a bit too long already because he's not moving towards it and he's not recruiting in the meanwhile. So, begs the question what is he doing? Yeah. All right. Yeah, he should have assaulted that because now it's actually too late. Tilipan can go back on. It don't, you don't need moral on your, your cannons. So, he's trying to go for it now. Maybe but yeah, but he'll not even running. siege it. What is the he, general? He's probably gonna run immediately. Like if he if he even breaches, that's a mistake. Yeah. So this attack by Tulipan, I don't like it. You don't like this attack by Tulipan? Yeah, I disagree. Because no, 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 no. There was very little moral for, uh, and he's getting a defensive fight. There's very little moral. No, but there's very little reason to attack before he is ready. His opponent is ready, but he is not ready. Well, he was gonna assault. Yeah, you wait for him to assault. You sure, have, okay, you, sure, you but it's not like a, it's not a terrible move. Like, it, I mean, it's not, it's not a blunder in chess terminology, but it's an inaccuracy. The the best play would be to this wait for him to assault there. and then hit him because I don't think Tulipan's even winning this battle. It's mm. going to be quite close, but I think Ozzy is still advantaged here. Well, there's yeah, yeah, it's because there's a fire advantage. And also, he has more troops. That's why Nine Tulipan zero. Not ready at all. Nine zero. Ten advantage on that dice. Like that, you could see the damage. And there's a troop. Yeah, but sure. Even though there's a troop advantage, they can't actually tell because neither of them have a uh, spy thing. I mean, it's infiltrate not about the spy thing. It's okay. Tulipan's backline broke already, so that's unfortunate. His other vanguard has to go. They might all get wiped here if they don't make it on time. Yeah, they do make it on time. Yeah, but, but you don't really want worse. that. Yeah, that's even worse. But it's not like if it's not even worse if as soon as they arrive you retreat. It's even worse because no, no, that's better because then at least you recover half a manpower. Now you're not even recovering. Half no, but he could have retreated the day that. that they arrived, so that they shatter one province away. I guess that's fine as well. 
Now he's sending, keep sending in everything, but this, but, yeah. I mean, it doesn't really matter. I think Tulipan's already fucked because he fucked up too much, too hard in the opening battles. Oh, so yeah. What? 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 He what? fucked up in what? the setup, is what you're saying. Anyway, when your disposition as Aussie, look at how easy you win this, this fight. There is no excuse not to assault and halt and Ober's fault. And once this battle is done in Furrigan, uh, Furrigan as well, you, you take three assaults right now, you win the war. Does he have no points? Probably not he... for three. Yeah, uh, well, hundred. So two. He, yeah, so he did he waste. Well, okay, oh come on, Tulipan, what are you doing? Lame. Well, well, well. Excuses, excuses. Sure. Yes. All right. Well, I mean. Tulipan schooled, despite uh, Ozzy taking very aggressive fights, still still not remembering to only take secondary fights if it's a benefit to you, which it wasn't in these cases. But that doesn't matter, because he just had better set up more men. And he did have a 6-6 general, which also was, of course, extremely helpful. Alrighty, well, let's get back to... Uh, Yeah, EPP above GSG confirmed. No, I don't think so. I think we saw Serenade trash uh, GSG last time. Go back to. Hey, Aussie. Yeah. Well, GG. Philippon. Uh, my young you know. son. I'm, I'm not your son, though. You're my brother. No, right? he's a brother in law. True. <laughs> okay. Well. <laughs> Saying, Aussie will get wrecked. Not true, apparently. Not true, apparently. <laughs> I never, yeah. I never said. Yeah, but people always overestimate. Like, no, he said, he said, will Aussie get wrecked? Oh, yeah. he said, will Aussie? Okay, okay. I thought he said Aussie will get wrecked. True. Okay. Tulipan B tier confirmed. <laughs> Meanwhile, Monkey Man only A tier left. All right. Well. Uh, pretty perfect setup from Aussie. Oh, yeah. Looked really good. Uh, the multiple things you can still improve on is identifying when it is opportunistic to take a secondary battle or a third battle. <laughs> <laughs> when to storm in like a retard and when to not. <laughs> exactly, because remember, like when you play versus me, this is exactly why you lost because you just went in. <laughs> Like, you, like I you just took all the shitty like, players. Here it works, though. Here it works. Fortune like you can do it against shitty players. Fortune, Fortune favors, favors the retard. There's, there's, there's a fine line retarded. between bold and retarded. Yeah. Like, a really fine line. I mean, very like fine against line. the good player, you can't think, do this at all. Like, yeah. It might be a fine line, but I think Aussie is far across the line. Over into Aussie the is <laughs> dancing all over this fucking line, man. <laughs> 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 Right, but yeah, you, you, you had you effect. had a six six general, and your yeah. other generals were trash compared to that general. So it's always a bad idea to take any other engagement than that one engagement. Or I mean, it could be if Tulipan also happened to have a six six general, but that wasn't the case, and you could see this. So by taking these other battles, you almost almost lost. Like it could have been, you could have lost that first engagement, and then maybe the but entire. War is different. <laughs> like he did because he doesn't yeah. turn on his policies. Like you would have gone. If he had destroyed. his policies on, you would have lost all three battles. Yes. And he only and... had the morale policies for like yeah. more than half the battle. Yeah. And like, if you. You um... have to be the superior retard and expect <laughs> your other retard to no. not do policies. No. <laughs> I am so victorious. evil people. This makes uh, sense. I will win this tournament. You yes. can't keep falling yes. upwards. You <laughs> can't keep getting away with it. Why does why does Amsterdam has such a fucking high win rate? Jeez. Because only good players like me play on it. Uh, X dot. X dot. <laughs> yeah, but it's fine. I'm gonna play Berlin, so you it's ever, gonna it's gonna switch up the win yeah, rate. And then you're gonna lose. So Amsterdam, even higher win rate. Why do you do it? How am I gonna lose? What is this nonsense? Wait, you're, you're saying I should Trump. play? I should play? I should play Amsterdam versus Blitz? Is that what you're saying? And then Berlin, no other matchups? 
Like, like, I disagree. Yeah, I, I, I still think Amsterdam or Berlin is probably the better country. So I, I, I think so too. One thing that I realized <laughs> is Amsterdam actually has correct advisors at the start. That's oh, a, a lot of the time. time. That's a lot huge. of the time. Yeah, had hundred more mili- Well, it's. I do, no, it's I, not like okay. So you get two admin, two diplo, and two mil in the first month. Yeah, that is your like, advantage. It's also less micro to do. Yes, that's you true. You had two years to micro. It's just, like if you can't micro, I was busy microing for two years. Like I was sitting there no, waiting for the It's not about the two years. Yeah. It's about the. It's about being, it's about being the first greedy. two months. Yeah. But yeah, you're also your oh, your yeah, uh, your logistics were a lot better, I think, than before. I was I would also say that when you're when you realize that you're winning the battle this far, then you should have seen this. Like the second battle, you had two commandos doing nothing. Hundred percent, you assault. The, the other force while you're doing this, you could have assaulted um, Oberstfalz and Anhalt as the battle was going on. Okay, who else? The other play? thing Let's is you don't just numbers. you don't just stand on the province when your opponent has a cannon stack next to it and then uh, nice breach manpower. No, no, what? what, what well, that. <laughs> I didn't see the cannon stack, and then I looked over and I'm like, oh fuck. You still don't see the cannon power. But even then, like, even then, it was too late, that effectively. Was, that was you, so you, if you want to yeah. assault a fort, you need to do it instantly after winning the battle. Tilpin, like, buddy, don't almost give that. you tag. Like to the winner, okay? <laughs> but no. <laughs> it was so BM. You're just standing yeah. there with, like, with two provinces away, Tulipin, yeah. <laughs> Mm. Two top, okay, let's two provinces away can work. Who else yeah. can who else can play today? Let's see. Can Karamala because I can do more. <laughs> go go message him. This thing. Probably, probably yeah, Okay, okay, him. fine, fine, fine. I'm uh stop you streaming. You might actually beat Caramala as well because he doesn't know about a setup. Hell yeah. All right. He's but, a good player. Setup. All right, I'll stop streaming for now. I'll restream if we have another thing going on. That way, he's not. Yeah. He's not that far into the. Okay,